Hey, it's Jake Newton, CPPS, cpps.com. In this video, I briefly want to talk a little bit about behaviors of concern in relation to Workplace Violence Prevention Awareness Month. You may have seen a previous video that I did about uh, how to start thinking about building a program for this and, and a couple of different considerations to be mindful for, namely the four types of violence. But so much of violence prevention has to do with recognizing those early warning signs and what we like to call those in many regards is behaviors of concern when we're talking about the behavioral standpoint. So behaviors of concern, they're the hostile, they're disruptive, they're emotionally abusive behaviors that uh, disrupt a organization of respect and professionalism. They disrupt that culture and they create an atmosphere of distrust and start causing individuals to feel concerned for their personal safety and security. And so those kinds of things, while some are more clear than others, are what we would classify as behaviors of concern. And oftentimes what we know is many individuals will exhibit behaviors of concern in their lifetime and will oftentimes not end up committing an act of violence. But what we know is when somebody does commit an act of violence and we look in the rear view mirror, those behaviors of concern are oftentimes present in the beginning, if not always present in the beginning, even if somebody didn't observe them. And so we can look at these things ahead of time and at a minimum recognize that they're not suitable for a professional workplace. And they're an indicator that somebody needs some kind of help, some kind of uh, assistance for whatever they, they might be struggling with. So it could be um, somebody is getting increasingly aggressive. Somebody is having a pretty significant deterioration in their hygiene. Uh, somebody is becoming an injustice collector, for example, where for all intents and purposes, uh, they take on some grievances of others, they make it their own grievance, and then they become the judge, the jury, and the executioner of the grievances of everybody around them. There's a lot of different examples of these. Um, extreme anxiety, extreme sadness, euphoric highs could be an example of these. It's all uh, part of a larger context that we have to be mindful of, but when we're talking about this with our individuals is we want to ha have them be aware of what these are so that we can have a means to address them early on in the process. And a big one when we talk about behavioral change, uh, when we talk about behavioral behaviors of concern rather, is behavioral change. And behavioral change is a pretty good indicator that something uh, deeper could be going on in somebody's life. And, and while change, again, may not mean that somebody's gonna become violent, change means something. And so when somebody has a change in their day-to-day -day behavior, that's a pretty good indicator that they need some, some attention as well. So recognizing those behaviors of concern in your workplace is a really great place when we're talking about workplace violence prevention to, to provide some attention to and create awareness throughout the organization so we can get in front of these things early and often. So behaviors of concern, hopefully you found that helpful. CPPS.com, subscribe to our newsletter if you want more information like this. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care.